Right, here we go then. Another another little repair project. Um, I brought this unknowing the uh, state of it. No power pack, no games, no nothing. Obviously it's a Sega 16-bit Mega Drive. Got myself a cheap game online. Popped it in, tried it. Didn't work. Yeah, don't worry, I did snap it into place. So uh, it powers up, uh, but we get no... No audio and no, uh, no, no video out. So I've tried using both the RF out and the AV out. Same thing. I can see you can see the TV detects that there's a signal, but there's actually no graphics or video comes up. So I'm going to watch a few little videos of other people repairing these, and uh, probably start with a bit of basic cleaning of all the the cartridge slot and a few other things. Check to see if there's any. And I think obvious we open the case, so uh, give me a few minutes and we'll get the screws out. So, got it apart. I'm going to clean the cartridge port here. You might be able to see a load of dust and everything. Going to vacuum all that out. Um, yeah, just test a few basic things like the power switch, etc. See if we can get anything to do anything sensible. Uh, but yeah, clean in with isopropanolol, clean in the uh, headphone control, speaker headphone control. Um, see if we can get it running. 1991, I can just see a date inside. So 1991, so this is 32 years old, this console. 32 years old. so what i'm doing now is check it i've just sprayed in some electrical contact spray probably a bit too much actually but you can see how dirty these uh q buds q tips are getting um to me, it looks like there's something inside one of those slots. I'm going to need something to pick it out with. So let's see what I can find. Just give the uh, cartridge a quick wipe over because it's a bit dusty and crappy. Not that this is going to make any electrical difference, but I have wiped the uh, the contacts there. Slot this in and out a few times, make sure it's free. I just want to make sure there's nothing touching, like any metal or anything that might cause a short circuit inside there. I just, just, uh, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I'm just going to do a quick inspection. Okay, so I'm sorry about the lighting. Let's try and get the lighting a bit better. I'm going to pop this edge connector off if I can. I don't know if this is directly soldered or whether it's part of the frame, but let's take the metal cover off as well, actually. Using the completely wrong screwdriver for this. I don't know if you can see, but <laughs> in factory modifications by the looks of it, <laughs> or something they forgot to do. The rust back there is a bit crappy. Maybe we should flip the board upside down. Mm, no, let's let's concentrate on this connector first. See how we go. So this edge connector, cartridge connector, does not come out. So I'm just going to clean the lower pins. Again, make sure there's nothing that's gone in there that's conductive, causing an issue. Now, now we've cleaned the cartridge and the pins. I think what I might do then is just try and fire it up and see if we can get an image. Or something better than what we did before. Uh, just give this another wipe down a minute. 
So just to note, this edge connector, though there's screws there, they're just reinforcing it's hard soldered onto the board. You cannot remove it. Oh my days. That's unbelievable. All I've done is cleaned all those connectors and it's fired up. Now the picture image isn't perfect and I'm, that could just be because I've got the shield off over the board. But here we are, this is going ape spl spit. <laughs> uh, a classic game. Classic game, as you can see there, this is from 1991, it's currently 2023. So it's it's almost perfectly working, just with some cleaning. The funny thing that they had done is on uh, on these... This is the connector for the LED, and all they've done is push the pins for the LED into that connector. There was no proper connection as such. Where's the lid gone? So the LED legs are just there, and they just pushed it in, basically. So yeah, there we go. We'll figure out what's wrong with the little interference and then uh, get it back together, I guess. Well, that was the easiest thing ever. So, no major repairs, really solid bit of equipment. Why not try repairing your own? Let's put it back together then. That was more easier than I thought. I thought this was going to be at least a 30 minute video, but... No such luck. No chips to resolder, no major rust. What a thing they built. How well they built it all those years ago. It was the first game console that I ever really played a lot of. Um, was it your first console as well? I bet it was. If you're a similar age, if you're in your 40s, you would have been a teenager when these came out. Yes. So what I'm going to do is... So I bought this, this cartridge for about three quid seems to work great not the greatest game in the world but whatever um i'm gonna buy one of those dodgy cartridges off ebay that's got like all the games on i don't care about copyright anymore oh no i better not say that in a youtube video let's say possibly i understand that the copyright has lapsed on older games I mean, you can buy all the roms and everything online anyway multi, multi cartridge in there maybe buy an extra uh extra control pad for it um and then we think about doing some mods on it maybe i'm going to look to see what mods are available for this first version for this version of the uh, console so there was a screw in there oh, i don't know now i should have marked where i took the screws out for now anyway let's speed this bit of the video up and see if this is actually we'll pop the cap back on the cover back on and then see if it's still working where did i put the cover Doo -doo -doo. i just think that's hilarious how they fitted that i don't know if you saw it on camera but it's just funny Right. The hardest thing, probably lining up the volume control. Right. How do we make the black stuff shine a little bit better? That is something I've always wondered. Some people use like a car back to black stuff. But I think that just leaves lots of fingerprints on it. It might be alright for like museum pieces that you just want it to shine. Right, screws back in. One of the things I didn't point out, um, this is the 1605 model with high definition graphic stereo sound. Um, later models didn't have this extra socket for the extra audio output. And you can see that, that uh, volume control is still a bit sticky, but I mean, unless you're using headphones, it makes no difference. Let's pop over to the TV and see if it's still working. Oh, 
Oh no! Is it supposed to be Tarzan and Jane or something? I guess that's who it's supposed to be. Well, the video interference, I'm going to look into that at a later video, but essentially, got an old Mega Drive, give it a bit of a clean, it'll probably start working again. Sorted.